Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm just out here tonight. I've got a roast that I brought up to the tent with me when I was up there and I need to get it cooked up here so I threw it on the barbecue here at the house. But tonight now we're supposed to get, it's been kind of lightly snowing all day today, this real light stuff. It snowed a little bit last night. We got about eh, maybe two inches and now tonight and through tomorrow they're predicting six to eight. So we'll see what happens. If that happens, I'll be starting up the tractor and pushing snow around. If you guys get sick of watching that, you can let me know, but right now I'm not sick of doing it, so I'm going to film it. Well, it's starting to snow a little bit harder, but uh, not enough to get six to nine inches. Not yet, anyway. I have the tractor engine heater that circulates the water that's plugged in. I did buy a battery blanket heater for this thing, too, when it was getting down to over 30 below. Both of them are plugged in, so no matter what happens, she should start. You ready to go inside? Let's go. Let's get in there. Come on, Joni. Well, it's a little bit after 11 o'clock right now, just about to go to bed, and the snow has finally started coming down. We got a good solid 3-4 inches overnight. They're still saying another 3-5 to five today, and then it's going to get cold and windy, which will blow all the snow around. It's real pretty when it comes down, though. set of tractor tires for or not tires chains for my tractor tires and he's only about uh, 10 miles away from here all the other sets that I found have been way down in southern Minnesota like a two and a half or three hour drive so I'm gonna grab these today I don't know that I'll put them on today it's I don't know if I'll need them this is just snow it's not ice but uh, at least I'll have them this is probably the heaviest snowfall that we've had at one time this year. All the schools are open, some of the daycares are closed, but uh, the school is running just like normal. Some places you can hardly see where the road is. This guy in front of me is having a heck of a time. He's way to the left and then way to the right. I don't know what he's doing. to go. Okay guys, so this is the place. I was just down there talking to the guy. He's got a lot of tractor tires messed up driveway for a day like today. I got my brakes pushed in, I'm just sliding down the hill.
very cool. He said his dad passed away, so now he's going through all this stuff, and he had over 100 tractors. No, he's already sold 100 tractors, and he still has 50 more here to get rid of. tank of diesel and it's supposed to be getting cold out the next couple of days so I figure I better fill it up now. had lunch and now it was still snowing really hard so I waited a little bit now the snow is starting to let up I think there's gonna still be some waves but it's about done these are the tractor chains I picked up but I'm not gonna put them on today Oh, it's still warm. It's been plugged in all night. Battery blanket. That feels warm too.
I do this area over here and I get it down to the grass as best I can because then when I let the dogs out, when they have to use the bathroom, they'll run over here, sniff around that grass, get it done, and get their bus back inside. Okay everyone, well thanks a lot for watching. That wind just keeps whipping, it'll gust really hard. Right now it's four degrees above zero Fahrenheit. It's supposed to get down to I think 12 or 13 below tonight. And then tomorrow's high I believe is three below and tomorrow night then it's gonna get down to about 22 degrees below zero. And that's the actual temperature with all this wind. The wind chill will be much colder. I will see you guys on the next video.